What's up guys? Today I've got another unboxing. It's another subwoofer. We're going to be checking out the Power Sound Audio S2112. Wait a minute. Another subwoofer? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so shout out to myself for picking up this subwoofer because uh, those guys over at Power Sound, uh, I, did, I did try to email several times to get a review unit, but I guess they're always sold out or backed up or something like that because of the whole shortage. So I did purchase this subwoofer myself and I did have to wait, I'm gonna say about three weeks or so to get this because they were so backed up. So at least, uh, you know, they had some pretty good contact through the email. Inside the box, we get... The power core and the instructions. This is the bottom, right? But this is a pretty heavy subwoofer. Yeah, this is the bottom. We're gonna tilt this over and then slide Who'll help it. you to get this up here? Huh? Who'll help you to get this up here? Me. Really? Anna. No, no, you're not that strong. <laughs> okay, go ahead, push. All right, so this is their 21 inch sub, which is fairly compact. All right, as far as size, this measure is approximately 24 inches from front to back, that's with the grill, and about 23 and a half inches without the grill. Width wise, it measures about 23 and a half inches wide, and height wise, it does measure about 23 and a half inches in height as well. And like I said before, it does weigh 135 pounds. And behind the grill, you could find the 21 inch custom made by BNC of Italy driver for power sound audio. Why is this so big? So it can make a lot of bass. Wait a minute, what's bass? What's bass? Bass is that. Oh, that makes sense. And it's got a pretty stiff enclosure as well. You know, you want to do the knuckle the wrap test. So it's pretty dense. It's got a double wall from baffle. It is made out of MDF. And if we look at the finishing up close, we can see that this does have a matte black finish that is non-reflective. So if you do have this in your home theater, this will not reflect the light off of your projector screen or your TV screen back at your eyeballs. Let's go ahead and take a look around back. So here you can see we have the amp plate, which is rated at 1,920 watts RMS or 4,300 watts peak. As far as switches and dials, we've got your off slash 12 volt trigger all the way to the left. You can take the toggle, put it in the center, which is the auto on off. Or if you wanna keep it on all the way, move it all the way to the right. And you get some indicators for sleep and power. This is your gain slash volume control, volume knob. You got your room size, which is between small and large. So I believe this is gonna give you either a frequency cut, depending on how much gain your room has. I believe that's how that works. I could be wrong. You got your crossover between 40 and 125 hertz, which is variable. And then we also got a delay dial from zero milliseconds up to 16 milliseconds all the way to the end. So that's pretty cool that that's included back here as well. You get your unbalanced RCA inputs. You got your 12 volt trigger. You got your loop out. So if you want to daisy chain this with another sub, and then you also have your balanced XLR input, power input, and then your main on off switch. All right, so the frequency response is 11 Hertz to 200 Hertz with a in room response between six Hertz and nine Hertz. So it should get some pretty good infrasonics, especially for edge of tomorrow. So I'll definitely have to play that and check that out. So I want to give a shout out to all my Patreon members for helping me purchase this subwoofer. And also guys, I did get rid of my Rhythmic F18 subwoofers so I could get this. So again, thank you Patreon subscribers. Thank you for supporting the channel. If you guys want to support the channel, I'll leave some links down below in the video's description for Patreon as well. But tell me your thoughts on Power Sound Audio subwoofers. Have you heard them and how do you think they stack up against the competition? like say MEK subwoofers or say a REL subwoofer or SBS. Leave your comments down below and let us know. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Be sure you subscribe for the full review, which is coming in a few weeks, and we will see you again on the next video.